Uh, this video is uh, how to configure formatter, make sure the formatter is available by using XML way to do the configuration. So I have everything which is the same, exactly same in my previous video when I using the Java config, okay? Let me go through with you again. So I have a customer controller. In the customer controller, this one is to display customer form, okay? In my customer form, I have a form here to submit a first name, last name, and the phone number, okay? And uh, this is my binding okay to the and when i click add customer it will submit to save customer url in my customer controller i have a save customer uh, spring trying to do the data binding bind everything to first name last name and we are also convert trying to convert that string value to this phone object and uh, by default, Spring cannot do. So we I create a phone formatter here. Phone formatter using the parse method, Spring will know how to convert this string, whatever the user input in the browser, okay? And uh, turn that into a phone object because in your customer domain model, you expect a phone object. And uh, since we have the formatter, then if you don't do anything, it just uh, sit there, a normal class. Spring that know you have a formatter. So uh, in my previous video, I show you how to do in Java config ver in Java config way, okay, in Java class to do the configuration. And uh, now I'm just uh, do one more time, which is using XML to do configuration. So the thing is, you have to add this phone formatter inside this Spring MVC config.xml. And uh, the configuration is pretty long. I'm just, I'll just copy, okay? Uh, copy and paste here. You create a bin, which is uh, the formatting conversion bin. And uh, here in the property with name formatters, here you can have uh, multiple formatters. Just to put another bin here. And uh, here we have to give that formatter. What's the formatter? We're using the phone formatter and this is your package. We go copy our package dot phone formatter. And uh, this is not the last step. This is the first step. And you also need to tell Spring MVC framework to use this bin. Okay, so after you register your, after you have your formatter conversion service ready, then you have to register here. Conversion service equals this conversion service. And now Spring will know where to find your phone formatter. Okay, now let me run and show you if everything works, okay? Uh, the only difference between Java config version and XML version is how to make sure your formatter is being recognized by Spring MVC framework. And you have to add a bin here and you have to register the conversion service here. Let me run. Uh, the server is up, so I'm gonna switch to the browser to show you the behavior. Everything is correct, hopefully. Okay. Uh, first name Rujan. Uh, is this your favorite name? <laughs> and the phone number. Okay, this is the XML version. Okay, I'm not faking it. XML version, and then add a customer. So everything works. And uh, if I go back to the IntelliJ, you will see 
the output, the two system output. Okay, this one. This is what I put inside the parse. You see this one. Okay, so everything works. And uh, if you're using XML version, this is the only thing you do. The two part, two things you have to do. First, create a bin. Second, register on the MVC annotation driven. Okay, that's it. Thank you and uh, hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.